Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. I'm so excited today. I, I'm not going to work today. Yay. My schedule changed to like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'm kind of like, ugh, I don't know. But it's it's like nice to have a Sunday off. Do you feel me on that? Like I haven't had a Sunday off in a very, very long time. But anyways, for today's video, as per usual, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my shop, my sash. I missed out on this last week because it just didn't end up breaking out with my schedule, with my life. Um, so I apologize for that. But we're back to it for this week. This week, I think I'm thinking my, to myself one second. Yeah, I think I want to focus on drugstore products. Yeah, and then I think I still need to place an order on ColourPop so I can do like a week of ColourPop because I'm down for that like too because I'm like excited to do some other stuff. I recently placed an order and I want to place another one. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This week is going to be a drugstore week. And then hopefully I'll be able to create a look with these products as well. Like I told you guys, I want to try to create a look at least once a week, which is not even that much. So it's kind of like, Lyra, let's go. Stop like saying you can create a look, Lyra, and not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that hopefully on Thursday. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's where we're at. I'm so excited for this. You guys don't even know. I'm just like so in the mood of filming it. Um, first drawer as per usual foundations oils all of that i have to tell you guys i've been absolutely loving this giorgio armani foundation it's like one of the best high-end foundations ever but since it is drugstore week i'm going to be using the dream urban cover spf 50 foundation from maybelline i use this once the shade is definitely not for me but we're still going to make it work with you know blending out it blend, blending it out on the neck i don't have time to edit honestly so this is just where we're at um so i'm going to pull this out and i think this is the only one i'm going to use for the week because i feel like i feel like if i'm going to pull out something else i'm just not gonna like use this and i just really want to focus my heart on this for this week for concealers i'm definitely beyond hooked on the maybelline fit me concealer this one right here is in light i have to find my fair shade because i like to mix light and fair together but i love this i'm gonna be doing a video where i discuss with you guys like the best drugstore makeup and i think that this might be in there because it's just an absolute favorite it feels so high end for oils kevin aquanaman my baby is almost done love that this is the Wet n Wild, but I think I'm going to use this one by Melania. I actually really like it. It's funny. It's not as, like, hydrating, I'd say, as, like, the Kevin Aquan one, but it still does have, like, a nice feeling on the face. Like, it still does hydrate. Not as much as that, but still not bad for a drugstore. It's, like, 10 bucks also, and, like, if you have dry skin, this will be your best friend. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. I'm happy that I picked out one per category because I'm really going to focus on those products. Next drawer is where I have my primers. I still did not film a primer declutter video, but this is just overwhelmingly, like, a lot. You know what I mean? That doesn't even make any sense. But basically, I need to get rid of some of these guys. Um, hopefully this week I'll get to it. Uh, I'm just thinking, which one do I want? I don't think I need an illuminating primer because the oil should be enough for the summertime, especially, like, I don't want to be overly oily because it is hot here in New York. Um... Baby skin is pretty good. Mm, okay, I'll use this. I mean, I feel like I'm pulling out so much Maybelline products, but they, they have pretty good stuff. So we're going to use this for the week. I think that's it. I'm only going to take one primer. All right, that's pretty much it for this drawer. We're doing good. Moving on to this drawer, you guys know I recently did a bronzer declutter video. And how delicious does this look right now? Yeah, there's a piece of hair in here. Hello. Why is my hair everywhere? But I'm thankful that I have hair, you know? <laughs> okay, anyway, my mother would be annoyed if she would see that, though. Anyways, bronzers. I'm going to use this. I'm loving that I have a smaller selection to choose from now so I could see what I have. In my bronzer declutter video, I wanted to get rid of this, but then I swatched it. I'm like, no, it's really, really good. So let me just give it a chance, you know? So this is the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer. It's huge. My brush could, my brush could fit in here perfectly, so we're going to pull that out. I'm thinking that might be it because these are all more on the higher end side. Yeah, then I have my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, which I'm not interested in using this week. But yeah, that's pretty much it for here. When I do my full face of CoverGirl, this is going to be the one I pull out. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You guys know I'm obsessed with this, but I want to give it a little bit of a break because I've been using it a lot. Yum. Okay, I love this drawer. All right, moving on to the next drawer, which is basically where I have my blushes. Also, I recently did a blush declutter video. Very proud of myself. Very happy about that. These are all high-end, so I'm going to stay clear from these guys. <sighs> what else? High-end, high-end, high-end. What is this considered? Like, I don't know. High-end or not? You guys know I love my Mil Milani Trio, but I also love this. I've been using this a ton this summer. This also, ooh, I wanna use this. This is the Essence Matte um, Touch Blush. 
It's in the shade, what is this? One second, Peach Me Up. It is stunning. I used it on my eyes as well a few times last week and I love it. I feel like I'm pulling out a lot of products that I hold in my Ulta haul, but that's just because I'm excited and I haven't used like them like enough, you know? So I'm gonna pull this out. All right, next drawer highlighters also with this drawer i did a highlighter declutter uh, two weeks back i want to say i still kind of feel like it's a little bit overwhelming for me i want to still do a little bit more of a declutter do you know what i'm saying imagine highlighter declutter take two <laughs> um but i think let's see let's use this i actually haven't used it in a very long time it's from makeup revolution i like to mix the shades just because i feel like if i use any one on their own i just don't like how it looks on my skin so having that white there with the other like deeper highlighters works well for me. So I'm gonna pull this out. Um, I'm thinking, what else? Mm, you know what, I think that's it because I feel like, again, if I'm gonna pull out something else, I'm just gonna neglect the other product. That's usually how I am sometimes. I'm trying to pull this out because it's like one of the best drugstore highlighter palettes ever, but I think we're good. We're good, we're good for the week, okay. Next drawer, you guys know it's empty here because I used to have three drawers of highlighters, so I have more room for play garbage can all right i already know which um eyeshadow palettes i want to use for the week so there are quite a few this one right here is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for like the natasha denona gold palette and it is really stunning i use it i believe like once or twice i just feel like it's a pretty pretty much more of a cooler tone palette than which i'm not crazy over in general but I feel like once I get this on the eyes, I'm like, wow, like, why aren't you using it even more, you know? So I think I'm going to pull this out. It's really beautiful. It's so affordable. It's from Ultra Ego. That's the brand. Why am I out of breath? I'm actually really hungry right now. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. I've actually been using this a ton last week. And I got so much compliments from you guys that you were, like, obsessed with my look. This was the palette I used. I love it. It's so good. The Sunrise Palette. Amaze. Yeah, okay, I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Um, palette declutter will be coming soon. But then moving on to this drawer, I basically want to focus on these two palettes. So these are the two Mil two brand new Milani palettes. Um, they retail for 20 bucks each. Again, I recently purchased these, showed them to you guys in my Ulta haul. But here's what this one looks like. This is the Noir palette, I believe it's what it's called. A little bit more cooler in tone. Um... A little bit different than what I typically go for, but I think it's going to challenge me. So very excited. What is this called exactly? Mm, I know it's somewhere. Oh, yeah, here. Gilded Noir. And then this palette right here is called Gilded Rouge. And this one right here is a little bit different. For some reason, I definitely gravitate towards this one compared to the other one. I like that this one has like those loose glittery type of shades, like the um, Huda new nudes palette so i'm curious to see how they're going to perform i haven't used these yet so i need to get down with them for the week hopefully i'll do a look with these let me know which palette you want like let me know which palette you prefer whether it's this one or the other one or none because i can do with the i can do a look with the um ultra ego palette let me know moving on to this drawer here's where i pretty much just store my like big ass palettes so i don't think i need anything from here yeah i need to declutter i know don't scream at me um, and then in this drawer is basically where I have my lip products. I actually used this last week. It's really, really nice. It's like a gorgeous, like pretty neutral nude. It's actually in the shade Nearly Nude. <laughs> Go figure. So cute. I honestly really love these two lip products. I've had them for such a long time, like in my collection, but I, I just adore them so much. Anytime I open up my drawer, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gravitating towards these. So, yo, get ready for a massive big ass lip, pro lip product declutter video because there's going to really be no games with this section. This is a really gorgeous gloss from Almay in the shade Goddess. I think I'm going to pull this out as well. It looks stunning on the lips, like very like luminous and just like kissable, you know? Okay, this is the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick from Physicians Formula. It's in the shade All Natural Nude. It does have a little bit more of like a matte finish on the lip, but I feel like I could just put a lip gloss on top and it'll still be pretty comfortable. To begin with, this is a pretty comfortable formula, but I feel like I want to go for that glossy lip for the week. So I'm going to pull this out, put a gloss on top. Oh, I miss these so freaking much. These are the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colors by Rimmel. It's in the shade Blush with this one as well. I think I'm going to just throw a gloss on top so it's going to be like a nudish, pinky, glossy lip as opposed to a matte finish. I love the formula of this in general though also. It's very, very good. Moving on to this drawer. Obsessed with these simple radiance, um, kind to skin radiance makeup remover wipes. I purchased this from TJ Maxx. Hey, there's a rip. 
that's why it's probably like maybe a little bit drying who knows anyways i'll put this in like a ziploc bag but i love this i've been buying my um makeup remover wipes from tj maxx here and there like lately and i just love it they have a ton of simple there and they're just really like priced amazingly ulta has them also but it's a little bit more expensive but i mean tj maxx is usually where it's at with these simple wipes anyways speaking way too much right now i'm gonna use this for lashes, I'm going to be using these Kiss Page Boy lashes. I like these. I'm not in love with them. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a little bit cheapy. They kind of fall off the eye a little bit. But it still does add a little bit of like volume and like length. And if I want a little bit of something more for my lashes, then I'll go for something like this. It doesn't last on the eyes for a long time, so just have that in mind. But I think we'll play with this for the week. If I feel like I'm really over it, then I'll just gift the rest of the pack to someone else. But for now, I think I'm going to use this for the week. <gasps> just repeat to myself. Moving on to the next drawer. I've been hooked on my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. Um, once again, I finished off one of these a few months back, and this is my second one. A lot of you guys always ask me what shade I'm in, and I am in the shade Classic Ivory. I think it's the lightest one. And there is a little bit of a dip going on in here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I love this. It feels very high-end, very luxurious. One of the best powders from the drugstore, hands down. Honestly, this is also one that I'm obsessed with. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I love it. I literally need to purchase another one because it's almost done and I, I would be I would be pretty sad if it's finished and like I don't have it like on hand because I, I can't I just cannot be in that position in my life at the moment um, but I love this if you're looking for an affordable drugstore loose powder this is where it's at so good I sometimes even um, prefer more than my Laura Mercier one shh don't tell anybody for lip balms I'm just thinking I don't really have a drugstore-ish one everything is like higher end i should say i guess this is somewhat drugstore this is the focus focus oh yeah this is the mario badescu lip balm it's pretty good i like it not one of my favorites but not bad at all actually it's not it's, it's good it's good it's good it's good, it's good. Huh? why am i out of breath moving on to this drawer okay for mascaras i've been pretty much hooked on these from essence i really really love them we have the extreme volume and curl mascara on the left and then the dramatic volume unlimited on the right they're both really nice i'm not sure which one i like more still playing around with them but i usually tend to have amazing luck with the essence um, mascaras and these are definitely no exception so i'm going to pull these plus i love the packaging they're really getting with this so cute for brow products you guys know covergirl brow pencil recently we purchased this finished off my other one so i needed to have this in my life again so this has a pretty thin applicator what i like to do sometimes is fill, um line out my brows with something like this and then i'll fill it in with something like this the total temptation like brow definer it has more of like a 3d shape and i just hate lining out my brows with this because it never comes out nice so hand in hand these do work together why i like to do that sometimes is to just finish off these kind of products otherwise i just kind of feel like it's a waste so um, that's how i tend to use my products that i don't really really like enjoy i like the formula i just hate that the applicator is like a 3d shape i just i'm not down with those kind of products anyways gonna pull these out and then for brow mascaras this kind of sucks like it doesn't necessarily make your brow stay in place but I don't know, it gives it like that like bushy effect, which I like. So, I st oh, I know what I, what I can't find. My Almay one. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Because the Almay one was clear, it was nice, and it also made your brow stay in place. This does not. So, we'll use this for now till I find my other one. Otherwise, we'll have to repurchase the Almay one. Alright, I just cleaned up my life a little bit, so it is pretty neat over here. Here is where I have my... Oh, this is kind of sick, like, whoa, like, almost a whole shelf. But I'm digging it, and I'm going to continue to purchase more. I love makeup mists. I actually think I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is one that I've been using for a few days now, and I actually really like it. The mist is very fine. It smells delicious, and I think that it does make my makeup last longer. So we're going to use this because it's pretty new. I haven't used this in a long time, so I think I'm going to use this as well. It's the Wen a Wild, um, what is this, Priming Water. Sometimes I forget to prime my face with priming mist. Like I do like a setting mist sometimes, and then, you know, foundation, um, bronzer, blush, all that. Then I go back with the mist. But priming mist is really where it's at prior to putting on your makeup you know does that make sense so i have to remember to use this just because sometimes if i pull out more than one i forget you know also i have been asked quite a few times from you guys what nail polish i'm wearing this gorgeous neon yellow basically is the pop beauty nail glam nail polish in 23 yellow but i make sure to always put a white base on bottom so the color could pop up a bit more since the yellow is a bit more sheer so i put two coats of the paper snow by kale polish and then one coat of like the yellow um i'm filming this on my phone quickly just because i got a bunch of questions from you guys i wanted to answer so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video let's do this i'm looking forward to reading your comments down below obviously of course right but let me know what your two top favorite products of the week are like 
basically what two products have you been digging loving obsessing over um because i need to know and then if you guys follow me on instagram i do want to do like a like my subscribers pick my makeup kind of video haul you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> okay what am i saying now okay i'll speak to you guys on instagram bye